Welcome back. Intellectual honesty, do you have it? It's defined as a method of approaching a problem or a situation being characterized by an unbiased, honest attitude, which then can be demonstrated in a number of different ways, including, but not limited to, your beliefs are not interfering with the pursuit of the truth and your facts are not being twisted to support cognitive bias. Now, I've found that intellectual honesty requires effort, much like a muscle, it must be exercise. So how can you apply this as a reverse mortgage originator? One way is to seek input outside of your circle of supportive professionals, family, and friends, outside of our professional echo chambers, I call it, and trying to meet, being intentional about meeting someone absolutely opposed to the reverse mortgage, that can help you build a worldview that in the end will help you sell more loans. So take note of their objections, their biases, the parroted misinformation. Next, apply the same approach a detective uses to capture a suspect. Put yourself in their frame of mind. How would you view reverse mortgages if you had the same education, work experience, or professional affiliations? You may be highly suspicious of such a counterintuitive loan. Developing intellectual honesty begins with your willingness to question your own biases and assumptions as a reverse mortgage professional. It means to let go of your ego and yield instead to empathy and reason. It's being willing to say, I don't know. It's a commitment to examine conflicting evidence and other viewpoints with an open mind to garner a nugget of wisdom instead of being merely dogmatic. Now, putting that principle to work will help you better empathize with critics who want to be understood before understanding. Now, don't look for intellectual honesty in politics or in the media. You're certainly not going to find it. But instead, look to yourself and commit to the challenge of fairly weighing what others are saying with the goal of shared understanding. As the philosopher Immanuel Kant says, man's duty to himself regarded merely as a moral being is truthfulness. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to share it with others and you can comment below and we'll see you here next Friday. Have a great weekend.